What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we got an animal one and it's a Patreon request at the same time. A Yorkshire Terrier, a dog. So, let's go, I'm on landscape page. Use a pencil and eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. We're gonna start with the eyes, right? <clears throat> Center point of my page is about here, the horizontal line, right? And the eyes are just gonna be along this line, okay? So center here, come over to the right. And then we'll start with a big curved line up and down. So real big puppy dog eyes, right? Curving up like this. And I like to make them kind of like a bird's head, right? So what I mean is you add a beak there, and then the bottom goes around here. Right to there, right? So it always reminds me of like a bird's head with the beak just being here. If you added a bird's body going that way. Uh, right, so then iris here, here, and then pupil more or less in the middle. There, like that. Right, and then it's all dark out here. You can maybe thicken up bottom eyelid line a little bit. So there can be like a line you know, coming around for the bottom eyelid just there. And, but he's mostly fur like in hair up the top. So just like a furry sort of line there. And um, sometimes people like to add a shadow on top and leave a kind of a white highlight, you know? So if you left, say if you drew a circle, right? It doesn't have to be a circle, it can be a square. So we'll draw a square in this one. See that? And then all you gotta do is add some shadow up here. I'm gonna do it with some hatching lines. So we'll just go like. This kind of thing, right? So you're just adding shadow on the top of the eye, in the top half, right? And then this will be left like a white shine. So then the other eye. So. Roughly, we're about an eye or two over, right? So I'd say two, right? So sometimes it's like one and a half, but I'd say two. One, two, right? And we started there. Okay, so it's roughly two. One, two, okay? If you get that sort of average distance, you'd be doing well, okay? So carve this up again, similar sort of shape down the back. So, and then again, we do bird's beak there, and then the bottom comes around. Don't worry if they're not exactly the same or the same size or anything. You just want to get them on the right level. And you'd be doing well. So like top sort of lines up, bottom more or less lines up. This will come down a little bit more, thicken it up. Right. And then iris inside, kind of circular bracket kind of lines. Color the corners dark. Like so. Trying to make it a bit more circular. And then pupil in the middle. Right, and then we can add our highlight again. So you want it to be, if the light's coming from this side, say, our highlight will be on this side of the eye again. There, and then you'll add your catching. Coming down the eye. So, and then bottom eyelid line just coming around here and some sort of furry sort of thing going this way as well. It's 
So Yorkshire Terriers are incredibly furry. Like a lot of hair, right? So this is gonna be like a drawing of hair, <laughs> more than a drawing of a dog. So um, next, measure the distance between the eyes. That distance will bring you to the middle of the nose, okay? So here to here, down, will bring you roughly to the middle of his nose. So about there, right? So here to here, bring it to there. So that, to that point, in the middle of the nose, is the same. So we've got this triangle, an equal sort of length triangle, right? So if that's the middle of the nose, we'll just, like we want that to be the center point of the nose, so the nostrils will be along here. So we'll just come up a little bit, right? And we'll do like the top of his nose, just here. coming down like that right so we're above this sort of point here I don't know if you can see that dot can you yeah right so just a little bit above and then we'll go down the side around for those skin flaps that they have on the side of their nostrils dogs and other animals like this wolves and things and the nostril is in there. So we come like this. Then the bottom of the nose will come out from the side of that. We'll go down this way. Like so. that and then a line kind of up the middle like so and then some like you know hatching maybe on the sides just to show it comes in a line coming across for the top maybe going around the skin here stuff like this okay so our Yorkie then, right, has lots of fur, right? So, and some of it comes over his eyes. So we might have to raise some lines inside the hair coming out from the middle of the nose, right? So it's like a big sort of furry mustache kind of thing. We'll say, we'll do, we'll do his bottom lip or his top lip first, right? So his lip like comes down here, right? And then this will start to go real furry down this way, out the corners of his mouth, okay? Right like that. And then his, his like bottom lip will be dark black kind of in here. Maybe you can color this dark. Okay, and then like this big sort of mustache that comes around. So real big hairy sort of lines here, right? Sticking out real far in the face. Coming around like this. I'll bring this one down just a little bit more to kind of keep me even on both sides. Right, and then. It comes down around here. Doesn't have to be exactly the same, but we're just trying to keep it a little bit symmetrical. Right, this kind of stuff. And then, so like up here, we have some lines that'll go like up towards the eye, right? Some fur. Am 
might go over his eye a little bit here. These kind of texture lines inside. And then some fur lines coming out from the side of the nose. and then he might have like a hairline just like a bottom eyelid line there okay so again you can add as much of this hair sort of texture as you'd like I think that's enough that doesn't look too bad And then his chin, so again, real furry kind of chin down here. Just coming down from his. A sketchy sort of hairy line just there. And then some more hair texture. So, right, so then up here, right, we've got hair that comes down around the side of his face as well, right, and then kind of joins up with the ears. So, yeah, so like coming around here, right, so there's like, there's like a gap here and then some like hair sticking up this way and then it goes around his eye and down here this kind of thing right all this the texture and stuff in there and we do kind of the same thing on this side so it's like a little piece of hair sticking up the middle and then it goes around the other side Seems to go back into like the corner of the eye there. Right like that, and there might be some lines coming around. Texture lines and stuff like that. Right, so then so there's the side of the head, the top of the head, and the ears. So real furry. Sort of, we'll go, we'll get the ears and then join it up to the side of the head. What is, what do we do? Hmm. I think we'll just, maybe we'll just add the side of the head here. So it's like more fur. Coming up this way, right? And it kind of eventually becomes part of the ear, okay? It's like the side of the face. sort of texture lines and hair and stuff coming out there right like that and then and the ear sort of tends to start eyebrow level right kind of there 
just to find add some shadows here. So what I'm doing is just darkening up some areas, making the line thicker. Right, and then we go right so then there's ears coming around here okay so so we gotta find the top of his head first I think so like here Right, like so. And then real furry, like. Hair spikes and stuff in here. Come down around the ear. Go down the head. These all go in. Like that, so we do the same thing roughly on this side. Right, so then ears, so real big, coming out this way, hairy sort of, quite hairy. side of his head then down here right there you do pretty much the same thing on this side so like curve it out look close to the top of my page and then start to get real furry and hairy coming down here Right, and then we got like some, lots of hair like on the inside, so. Like. Hmm. Like see, we got like the inside sort of line here. The inner ear. And then up here. And then there's like lots of fur. And, Stuff growing inside here. And I like coming down the edge this way. Lots of hair and stuff inside here. Sometimes it's worth adding some dark shadows on the inside behind the hair. So like, you know, just to make, to make it um, seem like in here is actually where the inner ear is. Um, so the best way to do that, I think is hatching. You could color it in real black or hatch. 
I like to do this. Just in between the hairlines. Just darkens it up. And then, so tidy up some bits. Just make his eyebrows maybe stand out a little bit more. I think maybe make his I'll make his face a little bit wider down here. Just add in some fur lines and stuff down here. And just adding things as we think they need them. So his neck and shoulders roughly will put, like starting here, I'd say, is a good spot. Yeah. And again, he's real hairy. Surprise, surprise, coming down that way. And sometimes it's worth thickening up your edge lines. Just tidying all this up. Right, but I think that that'll have to do for this drawing. Let's have to draw a Yorkshire Terrier or a Yorkie for short. Hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for the request. And if anyone else has some requests that they really want me to do, head on over to Patreon, sign up if you can afford it. And I'll get to it real quick compared to the YouTube requests. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.